imagine you're wondering what I have in mind. I'm not even sure what I have in mind yet, but I made sure that I chose from varied sources, National Geographic, old design magazines, books, and my Hawaiian collection of ephemera. So what I'm planning on this week, it's a bit of an experiment, something a little different than what I've normally done here on the channel. I want to build a collage that is based on a song lyric, not the name of the song, but something with, but a lyric within the song. And I will be quite impressed <laughs> if anybody guesses what the song is. It was a very popular song in the mid 2010s. The lyric is, that's a fine looking high horse that you've got in the stable. So I imagine if you Google it, you'll figure it out real quick. I'm not gonna reveal the title of the song. For whatever reason, it's a song that I really enjoyed and I really related to that lyric for whatever reason, just a wonderful play on words. That's a fine looking high horse that you have in the stable. Based on that lyric, I wanna build a collage. Whether or not it's going to look like that, who knows? And frankly, so what? We're here to have fun and collage is about having a lot of fun. This image in particular kind of moved me for it, but I, I don't know again if I'm going to use it. I tried to collect as much ephemera as possible to accomplish this little goal. And I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of intricate cutting. I just don't know if this is all going to work out with what I've chosen. I have plenty of other ephemera to choose from if I feel like I'm running into a little bit of a block. So as usual, I'm just going to start cutting and see where it takes me. segment and I don't know if I'm going to use any of it still thinking um, I don't want it to be too busy I'm I have a lot of ephemera to work with and I feel that I might be running into a place where I might make this too busy of a collage and I don't want that at all I'm still not sure what direction I'm going in, aside from what I shared that I want to make it an interpretation of a lyric. I'm just not sure. This is a very busy background, very interesting, but very, very busy. I'm not certain I'm going to use it. So I am still Ponder deeply. I kind of like that bowl of fruit for this. <laughs> that could work. I think it would work very well. I'm going to put this off to the side. Don't know if I want to use this model. I thought I might use it with the zebra. Are zebras horses? I, I'm not sure. Zoo, zoologically, I, I think they are. I, I really don't know. So I'm not sure if I, if I want to do that. And what I am doing, which is a big no-no and I've shared before and I always end up doing it myself is I am using a blade that's not super sharp. It's still pretty sharp. It wasn't, uh, the tip wasn't broken. Sometimes I, I judge the sharpness and the validity of my X-Acto knife blades on whether or not the tip was broken. This one has not broken yet, but it's, I'm having to press harder to cut and that's indicating to me I really should change it. 
Um, honestly, I'm not feeling this. I keep playing with it, but I'm not feeling the the model embracing the zebra. Now, something like this, this type of collage is very absurd and absurd is great, but I, I find that my absurd collages tend to get a little busier than I'd like for them to. I don't know. No, now it doesn't look so bad. I kind of tucked in the hair here with the zebra's ear. I might want to cut a little bit more to make room. Again, along the natural line of a photograph of the animal, maintaining that truth. Okay, we have that. So I'm still playing with this and I'm not sure if it will be my focal point. It's quickly turning into that at this point, at this juncture. Feels like it is anyway. And it is all about playing right now. I'm not, um, I'm not saying it has to be this way, it should be this way or anything like that, but uh, I'm not sure. We still have some of the hair from the male model that's on her arm that can act as a foil for the, the dark of the zebra. So it looks a little more natural. So something like this maybe. I don't know. I like the contrast of it. And it's definitely absurd. It looks funny. <laughs> and these guys. Now, the thing is, is there are, there's just a lot going on if I keep keep up on this route. Not only that, it looks like it will be a bigger collage than I really intended. I've been working kind of small lately. Go ahead and cut out these pieces. <laughs> here is because some of her fingers are technically, well her fingertips are technically missing because I trimmed them off to separate the image from the original magazine page. I'd love to try and tuck these fingers into the mane of the animal uh, to again make it look like it belongs. It was meant to be that way and makes it vastly more interesting. Uh, looks like we're headed in this direction and this is where we're going to go. Uh, okay, wanted to still look realistic for the fingers, so I'll have to play around with that maybe a little bit off camera. Um, how does the rest of this go? So I really liked this image also of the, the, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe she should go on this side there is a lot going on. Uh, do I keep the little boys? I think they're kind of interesting because they're cowboys and they're looking at like what the heck and I don't have to keep all the whole image there. I can kind of make it like this because they're looking over at this odd scene and I did like this but I'm not sure if this is even something that'll work. Might just do it anyway just because this is a this is going to be a strange collage and this was the imagery that I found for it and I kind of feel like I want to go in that direction. No, why not? It's just a little different. Um, I'm not sure if I'm even feeling this because this is a challenge that I kind of presented to myself basing a collage on a song lyric and whether or not it's going to work, it's just a, it's just a bit of an exercise for me. And I thought of maybe even creating a series of collages based only on song lyrics. 
<laughs> this is a little hard to see. Um, but there's a there's not too much contrast between the zebra and the statue. Now I can create contrast if I'm really ambitious and cutting out the lines and putting something behind it, then that would create some type of a contrast. Do I cut out the white or do I cut out the black? Is the zebra black on white or is the zebra white on black? I don't know, you tell me. And do I want to do that? See, I can even do it this way. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't even have to have her arm here. If I if we don't have her arm, how does that look? Kind of looks like she's cuddling a zebra. And if she's big time cuddling this this poor little zebra. Cut his ear. There we go, right there. And we don't have her arm, but we have. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Don't have to worry too much about keeping her arm. We might just do this. And does it reflect the theme? <laughs> it's absurd, that's for sure. Sorry, I'd probably not be able to see. Let me get that into the picture frame for you guys. That's different. <laughs> it does call for a strong background. And now we have space up here. And do I want to cut my zebra up? That's going to be a lot of work. A lot of work. And is this, me? Is this, a, this isn't a collage that I'm, I don't want to say I'm not feeling it, but this isn't something I've done before. And this is a first attempt. So I think I'm just, you know, I think I'm just going to not worry about cutting cutting out the, the stripes on the zebra and putting in a new color, especially since I might put this up here so it looks like she's riding the zebra. The statue's riding the zebra. In the meantime, I think we'll do this. Go ahead and commit to this. Uh, and we will... I'm just going to use a little bit of tape drafting tape to keep this in place on the back because I like the way this is looking just to keep it in place. We're not committing to it just yet. And let me, um, I'm going to cut her arm off. <laughs> These feel so cool. There we go. I did it. Sometimes just, just do it. Take a chance. Uh, you know, like kill your darlings as they say in art school. And here we go. It does lend itself now to more of a surreal quality because we did that. I think, I suppose. <laughs> it just feels weird is all. Okay, here's the fruit. Yeah, sorry. Just the picture frame. Here we go. And then these guys. So it's actually going to be a pretty big collage. Um, if I keep it up like this, I'm gonna go through this old time correction, Life Magazine. I have used this magazine umpteen times for images. I'm gonna see if there's anything in here that will act as a good background. Because I normally, scan my collages into Photoshop, and then I play with colored backgrounds, usually something very subtle, something that I extract from the image itself in terms of the color for the hex code. I think this collage being, it's turning into an absurd collage, definitely not a minimal collage, and I think I want to have a background that reflects the absurdity. So let's go ahead and go through this live magazine. I don't think I really have anything in this particular magazine that's going to work. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want too many focal points 
vying for attention here. I got a lot of stuff going on in this collage. I do like this hand kind of reaching down and maybe grabbing her head. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it out. Um, uh, reluctant because it's the cover and it's a little, it's fairly iconic with the uh, Jackie Kennedy on the cover. But I'm going to do it anyway because I have a lot of ephemera and I want to use my ephemera. Okay, I just actually just tore off that part. So I might use this. There was also some gold background that looked kind of interesting that I could possibly use for it. I don't know. I also have, I'll just put it off to the side. Here. I also grabbed some of my real estate brochures, magazines. They could provide some interest also. So let's go through these as well. down to maybe another page from the Life magazine. This yellow is kind of interesting. I like the orchestra going on here. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to go with. Place it off to the side. I also liked these backgrounds, a black background and a more white background. The reason I probably won't go with these is because I have photographic image, photographic image, photographic image, photographic image. And not that that's a bad thing and that I can't do it, but I just don't know if it's going to work. If anything, I would probably use the, ba the black background, setting it off to the side nonetheless. Then I grabbed this piece, which came from another collage. I did not adhere the collage to this background, which is a vinyl wall covering from I don't know when, I have no idea, it's really old, but it was like a remnant of uh, wallpaper from back in the day, whatever day that was. I used it for a collage called, I think I called it Fight. I'll show you the image so you know what I'm talking about. I like the way this works because it does act as a good contrast to all of the photographic images I have going on here. Now back to the composition. I'm having some difficulty liking this composition. I'm not sure why. It's funny. It's absurd. It's, I feel I'm interpreting that song lyric pretty well. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing though, is some cutting. I'm thinking about cutting her head so you can't see the whole face. And I I do like this hand, but I was thinking about this statue coming out of her cut open head. And the only way to really perceive how that will look is by actually cutting. So since I I like all of my collages. I'm not in love with this one. So since I'm not in love, I will just go ahead and do some cutting. And I'm just going to cut right here where the eyes are so that you definitely can see she is human. She has, she has eyes, but her head's cut now. And with the head cut, it just gives it more of a it just is a little, it's obviously a little more creepy. So maybe something like this with this image coming out and holding fruit. If I do this, Mr. Hands isn't going to fit. Although I will definitely hang on to that for another type of collage. 
the boys. The boys are kind of cool. We have, I don't know if, I, I'm afraid the boys may have to go because even though they definitely have this, well, do they have to go? You do something like this, actually, something like this, and she's coming out this way. Maybe she's coming out this way, looking down at them, and I don't know what they're what these kids are going to be looking at. Well, they're looking at the zebra. Like I said, the hand won't really won't really matter. And then we have the background coming in this way. Uh, I am not sure. We have a lot of empty space here. <laughs> so here I am grabbing something I cut earlier, which were these, these nuns. I don't know. There's a lot going on in this collage. A lot going on, and I'm not particularly excited about any of it. I'm really not. <laughs> And I always tell myself when I when I start sharing a collage or I start working on a project and if I start feeling like I don't like it, I always remind myself I don't have to finish it and I don't have to um, even post video. So I'm not really sure. I am not happy with this and I think it's because I've got a lot of space going on here. And I don't want to have a busy collage. So this might work because you have just the subtleness of the black and white going on. Let's go ahead and give that a try. The subtleness of the black and white. There is a lot going on here. There's just a lot going on. And it's a really good challenge for me simply because I am limiting myself to the lyrics of a song. And that's, wow, was a lot harder than I thought it would be. This is so busy. Let me take the guys out. Let me take the ladies out. And here we are back. Got something a little bit more. Well, it tempered it down quite a bit. We have something going on here now. Not terribly exciting, but we have something going on. I had thought about this too before, remember? It's not terrible. And then Maybe this hand opening up the head. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm ready to just do some more cutting, adhering, and then... It's part of the challenge to decide if, you know, some, how something is going to work. If it's going to ever work, it may not work. It may not be, you know, the most successful collage ever. If I do this with her head, I'd like to have something coming out. Something like along the lines of maybe some fruits or vegetables. Who knows? Um, well, we did have that one image with the table of food. These guys off to the side. So, here we go. Maybe this is, uh, I had thought about it. I, there's just a lot of strong imagery here, and that doesn't always work really well with collage. 
you don't want too many strong images. You definitely want a strong image that act as your focal point. This is a case maybe I have too many focal points, too many focal points, and it's not successful to me. Now, somebody else may be watching this and they, they may be liking it or they may be watching and just shaking their head saying, stop now. Um, definitely, oh, here's a grocery card. I had cut this out. So the grocery card, I liked it because part of that, the lyrics, was something needy for the main course. That's a fine looking high horse that you've got in the stable. So that was already on my mind, something in regards to food and eating. So that's, I think that's why I went ahead and chose this image. Um, I'm not going to do too much in detail cutting only because I, I'm not sure if I'm going to use, I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste my time cutting something detailed if I'm never going to use it. And this is, it's a simple, it's simple. Let's put this away. I do like the back of this background. And maybe grabbing the food, some of the food. Okay, solution. I'm gonna go with the black background. I am trying to create an atmosphere, maybe a bit of a story that's going on. I want the statue's eyes to be staring at these fingers coming out of this woman's head because she's looking at the fingers as a threat to this basket of fruit she is holding above hers. Zebra, I don't know why the zebra's there because <laughs> we are going along with the theme of the song lyric and that's a fine looking high horse that she got in the stable. I like it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some trimming. I'm going to tighten it up and I'm grateful that I talked myself through it because although I, I liked this and I liked this, the problem was that there was too much space. Now, I could still sort of use this kind of like as a backdrop to the backdrop, maybe. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm happier now because I know which way I'm going. So I'm going to go back to time lapse, do a little bit more cutting, a little bit more gluing, taping, and we will have a finished product. done. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, the collage itself is finished. I'm going to scan this wallpaper into my computer, then scan the collage, do the Photoshop magic, and we're done. And we'll post. And I hope you enjoyed this little experiment of mine. I learned, again, that you know, less is more. Be careful with how much ephemera you're choosing. If it doesn't feel right, don't go with it. I now have several little intricate pieces that I can work with in other projects. And it, it, it always amazes me how you know, I start out with so many different ideas and I just don't know which way they're gonna go. And that's quite all right. Why not? So this one is done. Um, if you guessed, <laughs> guessed the song that I'm referencing here, look at me, I'm still kind of, nah, too much. If you guessed the song that I was referencing for this, let me know in the comments. I'm not going to reveal it. Like I said, it's easy enough to figure it out with Google today, but that's what inspired me and made for an interesting lesson for myself. Tighten it up, try to stay away from those big spaces, 
as much as you can because you don't necessarily need more ephemera to make a good composition. If you have a lot of space going on, try and tighten it up. Don't be afraid to cut those darlings. Cut them up. It's all right, it's just paper. And in my case here, most of this is free. So I really shouldn't be treating it with kid gloves ever. So thank you for joining me. I hope to have something for you next week as well. See, there's these guys. I don't know. Well, maybe. Do you think these guys will fit? No. I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, let me know in the comments if you would like me to take on a song lyric next time. I think I want to try this again because this was a good challenge. So have a great one and I will see you on the next video.